So if you had a friend who recently opened a restaurant, and this friend, when they were talking to you, told you that he's in the process of growing the restaurant and growing the business, but every person who comes in the restaurant, for some reason, they don't like the food and they always give really bad reviews. What would your impression be of this particular restaurant? Chances are, you're not gonna wanna go to that restaurant and subconsciously you're gonna think, this restaurant must suck, hence people are giving it bad reviews and people aren't coming back and the business isn't growing. The same exact thing applies to women. If you're in the process of working on yourself to become better with members of the opposite sex, the dumbest thing you could do is express to women that you're currently talking to or you're currently seeing that you have no other women interested in you and you have no record, no one was ever interested in you and you're working on yourself but still no one likes you. That's the worst thing you can do to yourself. Now you might ask, that's cool and all, but isn't that lying? I'm here to tell you that's not lying. Here's why. Just because you're not saying the entire truth and every single detail about the truth doesn't mean you're not saying the truth. Instead of responding in a way, if she's asking you, were there any women recently that you've seen? Or have you ever been in a relationship? Have you ever dated? Instead of saying, um, every girl I see seems to dislike me and it never goes anywhere. Instead of saying that, which is a really low value way of putting yourself, which will make you seem less desirable to her. Instead of doing that, put a positive twist on it. Tell her, honestly, I've been working on myself recently and focusing on myself and I haven't met a person who I really felt strong chemistry with. However, I'm open to meeting and potentially connecting with someone who I feel that strong chemistry with. Something along those lines. That right there gives the same exact answer in terms of truth as the answer that says, oh yeah, no woman is interested in me right now and every woman who I go out with is just not interested in me. You're just not directly stating that and you're being honest too. You're actually working on yourself, hopefully if you're watching this type of video, you're trying to up your game, you're trying to up your looks, you're trying to up your charisma, your conversation skills. And just like the previous example I gave of the business owner, when that business owner states that no one likes the food and everyone who comes leaves, and he's sitting here acting dumb like, oh, I wonder why no one likes the food. Obviously because it sucks. The same thing applies to women. If you tell them that, they're gonna be like, obviously this guy's not a high value guy. Obviously this guy's not desired by other women. Obviously, if he's not desired by other women, the conclusion I'm going to make, the most logical conclusion, is he's not a man of high value. He is a man of low value. And you see, man, us as human beings by nature, we tend to gravitate to things that other people like as well as verification in our minds that that thing or person is a person or thing of high value. Especially women. When women see that other women like you, you're pre-selected, that's what it's called, you're pre-selected. means you're already selected by other women before even interacting with this woman. When you're at that stage, women naturally see you as higher value and they naturally show more of a high interest in you. And sometimes these are the same women who showed no interest whatsoever just a few weeks prior, but now she sees you talking to an attractive girl and all of a sudden her interest is skyrocketing. Why is that? Why do you think that is? Obviously because right now she sees that you're a man of high value. If you're a man of high value and you're talking to this attractive girl, there must be something about you that is high value and cool to provide to other people, to provide to other women. And if you can provide it to that girl, she's gonna think, what could he provide for me? I want more of what she's getting. I want some of what she's getting. You see how it is? You see how they think? That's the same exact thought process. And with us guys, it's different. If we see a hot girl and we know that that girl's hot, as long as she's not like sleeping around with a bunch of people, if that's the case, that's enough verification to us, at least to get our foot in the door, to see, okay, I wanna to talk to her just for the sake of talking because she's already met the looks requirement. For women, they have a looks requirement too, sure, but the emphasis on looks to women isn't as important as it is for us men. And this is just our biological wiring. And also women are much more competitive when it comes to this specific thing. They see other women with that man, I want that man. You know, they took that man away from me. He took that man away from me. Not every woman's like this, but I've heard, that, like the stories I've heard from women versus the stories I've heard and seen from men are completely different. Women are way more competitive, which is really interesting. So now that you've communicated that you are working on yourself and you're working on your personal growth as a man in order to become a high value man, I want you to actually become that and do that. And I promise you it is not rocket science. It actually comes down to four main facets or components. It's your health, your wealth, your love, and your happiness. Those are the four things that you need to double down on in order to be a successful or a happy individual. Now obviously the love part is basically the part we're talking about in this video. So without that being in the equation, the first three things that you need to work on in order to attract that right person to you are your health, your wealth, and your happiness. 
Those are the main things that you really need to focus on to become a high value man. Because when you're a high value man, you can network with better people, you make better friendships, you make more money, you attract better members of the opposite sex, and you just look better, you feel better, you, you're better in every single aspect, honestly. So if that's something you want and you're really interested in doing that, I want you to click on the video right now that's on the screen and you will benefit a lot from it because it directly relates to this topic. Thank <laughs> you.